This is Tulsa's second time to host the AKC Agility Championship in its 14-year history. We've got 857 dogs from 45 different states. As well as dogs from Canada. These dogs all had to qualify to be here. A lot of them are agility champions. They are the best of the best here in the country. Um, they will be here all weekend competing for the National Agility Championship title. Um, they don't win a lot of money here in agility, but they get that bragging rights for the year that they are the National Agility Champion. And all are excited to race their events. The dogs compete on two courses, one that features hurdles and weave poles, and another obstacle course that requires dogs to jump hurdles, race through tunnels, leap over a ramp, weave through poles, go up and over a narrow raised ramp, jump through a hoop, race through a switchback set of hurdles, go up and over a teeter-totter, go through another set of hurdles, then up and over an A-frame and through a chute to one last set of hurdles and do it all in less than 30 seconds. A nice time, 29.86. Before the dogs can ever take to the course, the handlers have to learn the sequence of the obstacles. Watching them learn a new pattern for each event is a little like watching a dance. And all weekend long, the public is invited to watch this competition for free. Ella Boo qualified to compete with her handler, Elise Thompson from St. Paul, Minnesota. She got her dogs into the sport by accident. I got into it because I was running my other corgi over sand piles and through, they're doing construction at the park. And somebody said I should try agility. So I got him going. And then about six years ago, I picked her up and she's been just a gift. Agility races require lots of athletic ability on the dog's part and teamwork with the handler. The handler directs the dog through each sequence of obstacles. We've got all breeds, all sizes, all types. We do have a lot of Border Collies and Shelties. They tend to be very good at this game. Their body types are good for it. They run well, they jump well. But we also have Rottweilers and Corgis and Papillons and Poodles and you name it. Starting next month, the AKC will allow mixed breeds to enter its agility championships. So next year's champ could be a lovable mutt instead of a purebred pup. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.